What is going on everybody? In a few short minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you how I saved over $30,000 during my four years at college with these five very simple, very easy, and very effective tips. So if you're interested, stay tuned. The first piece of advice that I have for you is become an RA, a resident assistant. This is a very easy way to save money throughout your college career. Let me explain some benefits of doing this. I was a resident assistant for three years, sophomore, junior, and senior year. Throughout this process, I was able to save about $7,800 to $12,000 per year, not per semester, per year, and that was fabulous. Along with my savings of rent, I was also able to get a stipend from the university to allow me to pay for books, um, food, and other things that I might need. So if you're looking to save a lot of money for your first couple years of college, becoming an RA is a very, very easy and hassle-free way of doing that. The second piece of advice that I have is to buy used textbooks. Me personally, doing engineering, my textbooks were very, very expensive. On average, I was spending almost $1,200 per semester, not per year, per semester on textbooks, whether that be from chemistry, physics, engineering textbooks, they were very expensive, over $1,000 easily per semester. For this, I would recommend buying used textbooks or renting your textbooks from an online third-party source, not from the bookstore at your campus. The third piece of advice I have for you that I use quite frequently and many of my peers did not use were student discounts. Student discounts came in many different shapes and different sizes. So for me, every start of the semester, there would be a book that was handed out to every student. And in this book, there were basically discounts on clothing, discounts on food, discount at restaurants, um, Home Depot style stores, you know, Office Max kind of stores, all these types of discounts, they're at your disposal. You just have to use them. And for me, I was able to save hundreds of dollars on furniture, technology, and food by just using my resources that were provided for me at a free cost. Number four on this list is to have a part-time job. And don't yell at me now. Having a part-time job can be as easy as five hours to 20 hours to 30 hours a week. However, these come in all different sizes as well. For me, I was a tutor at the engineering center and I could make somewhere between 15 to $25 an hour. And my schedule was extremely flexible and I didn't have to commit to you know, 40 hour a week per job. If tutoring is not your specialty, there are all types of jobs that are on and around the campus that offer great benefits and usually there's a very flexible work schedule that are, and the companies are usually willing to work with students. For me, my favorite type of work experience is an internship because the internship allows you to apply what you're learning in school and then hopefully get, use that to get a full-time job after school. Number five on this list and for our final topic of today is to stop eating out. A very, very large cost that students go through in college is eating out. Either they're going to bars, they're going to get a quick snack, they're going to get food at a restaurant. Whatever it is, this cost adds up. And the national average is over $700 per month spent on food and groceries for students. For me, what I was doing, my, at least my junior year and senior year, was cooking my meals at home three times a day. And this helped me save about $400 to $500 per month. Not per semester, per month. If cooking is not your specialty, maybe try a meal plan. Meal plans are a very, very cost efficient way and a very easy way to get your meals in without having to go out to restaurants or having to cook meals for yourself if you're not a chef. But you don't have to be a chef to cook meals for a good price. If you found value in any of these five topics that I mentioned in the video, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear the ways you save money and make money during school. I think we can all help each other grow and help each other save money and set ourselves up for a better future after college. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you. Have a good one.